Hello and welcome back to GT Retro World. Well, here we go. Something else completely different. I always say that, don't I? But no, this is real different. It's a low rance. LCG recorder or basically a fish finder uh, from Lawrence Electronics from mid 80s maybe late 80s or thereabouts and I found this in the back of my uh, garage in a bag and I know where it come from it was a lad called uh, Mick who said a knock about years ago and it must have been there oh my god 15 plus 20 years or something like that I remember him dropping it around he said oh have a look at that see if you can do out with it and I never really seen him again. <laughs> it was just one of them things. I just went to the back of the garage, you know, and uh, and I found, uh, like I say, I found it the other day in a bag. Lifted the bag up, I thought, shit, what's that? You know, you know. I looked at it, I thought, what the hell, you know? And uh, yeah, it's a, like I say, it's a, a fish finder. And by the way, I know nothing about these whatsoever. Not a thing. The closest that I've got to fishing is fishing with a rod and I've packed that in many years ago as well because I got bored of that. I've still got all my fishing gear mind you, uh, fresh water fishing gear but no I haven't done it for years but yeah anyway this is what we have here. Oh and by the way it's the X4 so it's a lower ants X4 that's the model number of it but yeah I'll give you a little look at this is exactly how I found it. So I haven't even given it a clean up yet and, uh, and obviously on your back you've got yeah, hang on, on the back there, there's a socketry there. I gather that's uh, for the transducer, I think, and that'll be for the power, no doubt. Uh, and that looks like almost like a little speaker, doesn't it? On the rear. But yeah, you can see it's a uh, very uh, arcade, that like, isn't it? Eh? Yeah, serial number and whatnot, a few bits on there if anyone's interested. Uh, but yeah, what I want to do. I'm going to give it a clean up, I'm going to try and get it powered up, I mean this is the transducer That's seen many a mile under the sea hasn't it there? Or many a knot <laughs> Yeah, God knows if it works, no idea um, But this is like almost, it's, well, it's like it's a coax isn't it? It transmits and receives doesn't it I think, a transducer But anyway yeah, I'll give it a clean up And I'll try and get some power to the back of it And we'll see how we get on because I can't find anything with a plug that resembles that. Yeah, so I'll have to make something just to, to get me away with it. But uh, yeah, give us however long it takes there, eh, guys. <laughs> right, guys, um, I managed to get some power to it and uh, get a transducer connected up, sort of, without any plugs, of course. So I've had to make some makeshift sockets like uh, but they're all right they're nothing fancy i'll try and chase something up if i can be bothered if not i'll just let it go to someone who wants to play with it you know i'm not even bothered about what it's worth to be honest it's just a bit of fun i'm i'm doing here because i like i say we're finding it i just thought oh what the heck so power it on as you can see and it does a quick self check after five seconds it'll start scanning the depths or the shallows whatever you want to call it uh, as you can see the transducer is connected you i don't know if you can actually i've hold up the mic can you hear that guys well yeah it's definitely working i can feel it scanning that transducer it's clicking like it's clicking its puddings out and obviously these would be normally mounted on the i think on the hull well, you would you'd mount it on the hull and just point it down, wouldn't you? I suppose. But yeah, that's oh, that's seen that's seen some uh, duties that like, hasn't it? There, look at that, Jesus. But you can, I'll hold up the other mic again, see if you can hear it. I can't really tell if you listen to that, guys. You might hear it. But anyway, yeah, as you can see, it's working. Um, I can't seem to find out how you leave the light on. I mean, it's. I'll just do a quick reset on that in a minute. I just. I'm still trying to oh, so clear, so that clears that. Ah, here we go, there we go, lights on. So you press second and light and that takes the auto light off. That'll keep it on permanent by the looks of it, I think. Ah, oh, yeah, that's that's better. Right, so we'll set that to a shallow set. Yeah, that's shallow, go to D. Uh, 
there we go so that's your zone alarm isn't it i guess <laughs> and i had a little look at an online manual and it doesn't look really hard to use i suppose obviously the transducer fits on your hull and um, obviously scans the seabed um, I had, I, well, I'll tell you what, I'll read this little introduction here that uh, comes from the manual. Welcome to the world of sports fishing sonar. Your Lowrance X4 is a high quality sonar designed for both professional and novice users. The X4 automatically finds and displays the bottom depth, fish and structure by just turning it on. Mm, there you go, that sounds easy enough. Eh? As you grow familiar with your X4, you can try some of its remarkable features and fine tune the unit to the surrounding conditions, which is not dry land. <laughs> you can program the X4 to display the bottom depth in tenths of a foot, sound alarms when the boat goes shallower or deeper than a preset depth, or when a fish enters an alarm zone, plus much more. So there you go. I haven't found an installation guide for the transducer, apparently that's separate. But uh, I've seen nothing online for that. There is, like I say, there's a manual online for the, the X4, which I'll put in the description anyway. But as you can see, it's it, it's it's working a treat. I say it's working a treat, I'm not a bloody clout to use the damn thing. I just know it's working, or it will, would work, you know what I mean, if, if you were using it for its intended purpose. But yeah, like I say, it was just something I'd, <laughs> I dug out randomly. Oh, what's she beating for now? Now it's scooting along, quick look. Yeah, and the lamb's come on. Mm, has it found me? A big shoal of fish. Or a big fish. In a little pond at the moment, eh? But yeah, like I say, it was just a, just a little one. I thought I'd just drag out before I either throw it out or give it to someone or even I'd get a couple of quid for it, that'd be nice like, but I can't see it. It was just a bit of fun just to, just to show on the channel uh, that I'd dug out the, the pit. I mean, maybe someone will remember these damn things. It might come, you know, someone might say, hey, look, I've used them for years, I still do. You know, I know them like the back of my hand, spot on them, the business. But like I say, I haven't got a clue. I just know it's functioning. It's definitely 110% functioning. I mean, if I was going to use this, if you, you're going to, you'd, you'd want another bracket on that and you want to use some new uh, coax cable. I think it's something, I did notice some numbers on the cable and it really, I'm going to have a little look. It reads something like M0007, almost 007. And that's it, it's like I say, it's a coaxial cable that runs up to the transducer. I'm not going to go into great detail with this because I want no use for it and I, I haven't got a bloody clue anyway. I, I literally had a, a minute or two look at the manual online and that was it and that's where it ends with me. Well, as you can see guys, it bloody works, eh? Huh? Uh, surprising, all them years, I mean all the electronics and damp environments in the back of a garage and it still fires up. Saying that, this is actually made for... Uh, what are you thinking now? This is made for bloody damp environments, isn't it? Yeah, salt as well. But uh, yeah, it's working within reason. I mean, if anyone wanted to re reuse this again, they'd need some type of new bracket on there. And obviously, the coax is split as it enters the transducer. Um, blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to think how you'd even get in that bloody thing. It looks like it's sealed. It's almost like a baker like that, but you can. I don't know whether you can get into these or not doesn't look too mm, I'm unsure about that probably some sicker flex around that cable might do it like to get you going but yeah anyway it's uh, it's it's working it, it, it's actually uh, the transducer is actually uh, picking up uh, sonar like it's it is doing its job well yeah like I say it was just a short one just something to mess about with like I say it took me Less than an hour though the whole video uh, from beginning to end that's connecting the cables up and the video and whatnot. There's no nothing fancy about this, it's just a bit of fun. Anyway guys on that note, thumbs up, and subscribe one go miss, and we'll see you in the next one.